Good morning, and welcome to this service of morning prayer from the Cathedral Church of All Saints in Halifax, Nova Scotia. My name is Susan Drain. I am a lay reader in this congregation. Today, March the 9th, we remember Gregory of Nyssa, bishop and theologian. Our opening sentence is from Genesis. And Jacob dreamed that there was a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven, and behold, the Lord stood above it. Be still and aware of the presence of God within and all around. Let us pray. Loving Creator, we thank you for this day and for this time when we can turn our thoughts from busyness and responsibility to your light and your peace. We thank you for all your gifts, for your creation around us, for the abundance of your provision for us, for friends and loved ones, for the blessings and the challenges that enrich our lives. We thank you especially for your gifts of wisdom and imagination that orient us toward you, who are beyond our vision, our words, and our thoughts, yet always in our hearts. Amen. Today's reading is from the Wisdom of Solomon. For wisdom is more mobile than any motion. Because of her, her pureness, she pervades and penetrates all things. For she is a breath of the power of God and a pure emanation of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, nothing defiled gains entrance into her. For she is a reflection of eternal light, a spotless mirror of the working of God and an image of his goodness. Although she is but one, she can do all things, and while remaining in herself, she renews all things. In every generation, she passes into holy souls and makes them friends of God and prophets. For God loves nothing so much as the person who lives with wisdom. Here ends the reading. Stephen Reynolds tells us that Gregory, a fourth century Greek speaker who lived in Asia Minor, came from a whole clan of saints. As is often the case, the younger son tried his best not to follow in the family footsteps. But as is often also the case, he ended up in the family trade becoming bishop and theologian. Three things I really like about Gregory. First, he learned a great deal from his older sister, the deacon Macrina, and readily acknowledged her as his teacher. Second, he was able to get past that little mis misapprehension that language and patriarchy perpetuate that God is a he. If we had gifts to pray over this morning, we would begin that prayer with Gregory's startlingly non-binary assess assessment. O Father, womb of the eternal word. Third, Gregory gives us wonderful metaphors by which to express our attempts to understand God. And God knows I love a good metaphor. The trouble, of course, is that metaphors are only partial. For Gregory, our quest for God is like climbing a mountain, but a mountain that has no peak, rising always just beyond our capacity. It's like Robert Browning. Man's reach should exceed his grasp, or what's a heaven for? Or like Paul's, when I was a child, I spoke like a child. 
I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. So our understanding grows as we climb, according to Gregory, but can never be complete, at least not in this life. Now I know in part, says Paul, but then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. There is something wonderfully aspirational about this quest to know the unknowable, something that stretches our minds out of logic into wonder. So thank you, Gregory. But let's not forget the wisdom of Solomon, the wisdom of God, which doesn't retreat even as we advance, but pervades and penetrates all things and passes into holy souls and makes them friends of God. So though sometimes our spiritual life is like climbing an endless ladder, yet it is also a friendship with God, the companionship of wisdom. Right now, we may know only in part, but we are always fully known. May it be so. Before we turn to the tasks of the day, let us pray for ourselves and for one another. Give us strength for this day. Give us joy in this day. Comfort those who suffer and those who mourn. Send us wherever we are needed and sustain us on our way. Keep our hearts and minds open to the new and the challenging. Help us grow in the knowledge of you, both the knowledge that stretches our minds into mystery and the wisdom which draws our hearts into intimacy with you. And we pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.